So when you run a chi-square test with goodness of fit in SPSS, you get two tables of output. The first is just a summary table of the data, and here we can see that 187 people chose the red soap, compared to 321 who chose the white, and 92 who chose the brown. Remember that if all three colours were equally popular, we would expect about 200 people to choose each colour, and these are the expected frequencies which are reported here. Now the final column of the first table reports the differences between the observed and expected frequencies, and these are referred to as residuals. The second table contains the chi-square test statistic and associated degrees of freedom and significance level. Here the significance level is less than 0.05, which we typically use as alpha, and we can thus conclude that the colour preferences we observed differed significantly from what would be expected in a situation where all three colours were equally popular. So we could write up our findings like this. The chi-square test for goodness of fit was statistically significant. The white soap was preferred by the largest number of shoppers, followed by the red and brown soaps. Now in a full write-up, you may also be expected to report on the assumptions of the test, as well as an effect size, and for this you can see StatHand for more information.